My name is Edith Usage, a mathematics teacher in St. Mary Dedication, British Montessori School. I'll be teaching basic two mathematics and our topic for the day is capacity. At the end of this class, you should be able to identify and name objects that could be used for measuring capacity. For example, cups, empty containers. Also, order of containers based on their capacity. Our instructional materials before us, we have three containers a water bottle a jug and a bucket. You can see that the bucket is bigger than the jug and the jug is bigger than the water bottle. It means the bucket has a bigger capacity than the jug, and the jug has a bigger capacity than the water bottle. If we decide to pour water in this container, it means the bucket will take more water than the jug, and the jug will take more water than the water bottle. In other words, the water bottle will contain less water than the jug, and the jug will contain less water than the bucket. Here are some examples of objects with different capacity. A cup, a pencil, a drum, a bucket, a flask, and a jug. I repeat, a cup, a pencil, a drum, A bucket, a flask, and a jug. I'll be leaving you with these activities. Which of these items labeled A, B, C? One, has the biggest capacity. Two, has the least capacity. See you in our next class.